Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I got a little bit of an update, but first, I want to do a mail call. Let's check it out. So let's get into the mail call portion of the video. First up, Hensley's Hobbies. Now there will be links to all of these channels in my video description so you can go over and check them out for yourself. But Doug over at Hensley's Hobby sent this nice shop card and it has five great builds that he's done as well as it looks like his other hobby might be fishing. So that looks like a great catch there Doug. Nice handwritten note on the back and I'm just going to say it like Doug does. Appreciate you Doug. Next up a shop card from Chris over at CD Scale Models. Another great channel. Go check out if you're not already subscribed to them. And again, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so you can go over and check out these channels. Chris wrote a wonderful note on the back of this. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the shop card. And finally, Cliff over at GI Mechanics Scale Modeling sent this shop card out. So Cliff does some great work, those two of his builds there on the card. So again, a link to his channel will be in the video description. You can go over and check him out. Thank you for the nice handwritten note on the back. But also, Cliff sent this along with it. Basically, it's a thank you to all veterans for service and sacrifice. And uh, Cliff is a veteran himself, which um, I really appreciate you. Uh, thank you for your service and thank you for sending this out. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for all the shop cards. Now, so yeah, so this is my current shop card, which I'm going to print more of, but I'm also going to print this as a shop card. I'm going to be sending out two different ones. Might not know which one you're going to get. So, just something to kind of look forward to keep your eye uh, on your mailbox now you might have noticed this uh, Camaro sitting over here to the side now this is a build that I did oh goodness probably six seven maybe even eight to ten months ago it's a snap tight kit uh, I pulled it out of the box recently and was kind of looking at it and it needed a little bit of help so I've cleaned it up. I went and I detailed it a little bit more. And what I did as far as the detailing goes is I kind of outlined the hood and the trunk and uh, the doors on the side so that they actually have a little bit more definition to them. And I polished it really good. I actually wet sanded it um, and uh, waxed it and then put a coat of what well, might be helpful if I actually show the model but I put some future uh, floor acrylic on it and brought out the shine so uh, really pleased with the way that that turned out let's pull it around here now one of the things that I wasn't real happy about is when I took it out of the box the mirror had broken off and I've had a hard time getting that mirror to go back on there and make it look decent uh, I might just leave well enough alone at this point but uh, other than that, um, you know, I'm, I'm real pleased with the way this thing looks, the way it turned out, and especially for a snap tight kit. I mean, that looks pretty good, at least in my opinion. Now, the other thing I did was I detailed the underneath. So this was all black, and I went ahead and painted all that out to kind of bring out some detail and everything. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, Pretty sharp looking uh, 
little snap tight model now. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to mention, um, these are not the wheels that came with this snap tight kit. These wheels actually came off of a die cast that I had and uh, so I wanted to kind of change it up just a little bit, give it a little bit of a personal flair. So uh, yeah, change the wheels out and of course the custom two-tone paint and uh, I think you can see that. That's carbon fiber striping on it, which kind of sets it off a little bit. So anyway, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, I'm waiting on my paint to come in for the A4F, the Blue Angels uh, build that I've been working on. Had to order the paint because I couldn't find any anywhere local here uh, that was the right color. And uh, so anyway, yeah, having to wait. So. Just decided to, you know, do a little unboxing, check out some of my old models, clean some things up, just kind of keep me busy. So in between life and everything else I got going on, that's uh, that's what we've been doing. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We're gonna see you soon. Please Bye. subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.